Happy Taco Tuesday, everybody. It's, um, you know, I have to say, when I was a kid, Thanksgiving was my least favorite holiday because there were no presents. But uh, now I love Thanksgiving because there are no presents. It's <laughs> just cooking and eating and football and drinking. It's like being Guillermo for a day. Yeah. Yes. Are you still, um, are you still making chicken uh, for Thanksgiving instead of turkey? Yes, we love chicken. Latino Every year loves... you go with yes. the chicken. This year, um, I'm doing something different. I, this year, I'm vaping the turkey. <laughs> Smoking was too much work, so... Uh, the bad Thanksgiving news is everybody's sick. Three viruses are on the rise. COVID, of course, the flu, uh, and RSV. It's uh, like some kind of diseased turducken all happening at once. <laughs> And the weather could be an issue. They're expecting rain and snow on both sides of the country. In Buffalo, they got over six feet of snow over the weekend, which left some locals vulnerable when it came to food and critical supplies. The cleanup continues after the giant storm this weekend. Our colleagues at Spectrum News in Buffalo were out talking to people there as they dug themselves out. All cleared up. Pretty good, but I'm running out of beer. <laughs> which is a problem. And weed. But that's my own fault. I should have stocked up ahead of time. In fairness, you probably, you were high and drunk, so a lesson learned. The holiday movie season's almost upon us. One of, if not the most anticipated release of the year is the long-awaited sequel to Avatar. Avatar, The Way of the Water, opens next month and was very expensive. So expensive, director Jim Cameron says the movie needs to make $2 billion just to break even. Is it even possible for a movie to make $2 billion? I feel like you need Tom Cruise and Spider-Man fighting Harry Potter on the Death Star to make $2 billion. <laughs> the first Avatar came out 13 years ago. This is the second of five Avatar movies they're planning to make over the course of, as you can see, the next 700 years. It's... <laughs> next three, they're gonna release right into your brain. You won't even have to see it. Another highly anticipated release is Donald Trump's tax returns. We may actually finally maybe get to see what Darth Tax Evader has been hiding from us. The Supreme Court today ruled uh, against him. They denied, they denied Trump's request to stop Democrats in the House from examining his taxes. The ruling was unanimous. There were no dissents. You know it's bad when even Clarence Thomas is like, I'm out, bro. You're on your own on this one. <laughs> Trump is very upset because, as he told us many, many times, he was planning to release them himself. If I decide to run for office, I'll produce my tax returns, absolutely. I have no objection to uh, certainly showing tax returns. As soon as my routine audit's finished, I'll release my returns. I'll be very proud to. After the audit is complete, it's a routine audit. If I were finished with the audit, I would have an open mind to it. I would say that. If I'm not under audit, I would do it. I had no problem with it. I'm going to release them as soon as we can. I want to do it. I'm under a routine audit, and it'll be released. And as soon as the audit's finished, it'll be released. Yeah. He promised to release these tax returns more times than he promised to release Melania, like 10,000. <laughs> Democrats will only have a few weeks to access the documents before the Republicans retake the House and make them disappear. Basically, Trump's tax returns are like a, a close friend's Instagram story. <laughs> Today also brought an appeals court hearing in the classified documents case. Uh, Trump's lawyer complained that when they came to Mar-a-Lago, to get the stuff he stole from the White House, investigators took some of his golf shirts and multiple pictures of Celine Dion. <laughs> what is he doing with multiple pictures of... Is it possible he's even weirder than we thought he was? And for someone who's so careless with classified material, he's so focused on keeping everything related to him secret. We, you know, we already know he cheated on his wife. We know he cheated on his taxes. He cheated on business deals. He gives almost nothing to charity. And he tried to get an election overturned. Unless he's also secretly the chupacabra, what's left to hide? <laughs> it's a very bad day for Donald Trump on the legal front. His buddy, Lindsey Graham, was forced to testify in the Fulton County fake election investigation. Trump right now, he's like an alien abductee getting probed from every single angle. He's <laughs> also said to be extremely pissed that Republicans don't want him going to Georgia to help campaign with Herschel Walker for the runoff. They believe it could hurt Herschel Walker's chances of winning. Herschel Walker, as you know, doesn't need Donald Trump out there to make him look bad. Um, <laughs> 
he's doing a very good job of that himself. The other day, I saw a commercial. Can you believe this? I saw a commercial. He's talking about me. And then I see him with a dog. He was with this dog named Alvin. That Alvin don't even belong to him. That ain't even his dog. And he's trying to fool you like he got a dog. That's not even his dog. Alvin belonged to somebody else. All right, well, what about... What about those kids of yours? Who do they belong to? <laughs> and while we're on the subject, one of the women who says Herschel paid for her abortion, a woman he claims he does not know, came forward with even, with even more evidence today, a voicemail that her lawyer was very pleased to share with the media. Uh, you sit in your platform calling you big sex puppy. You can't believe you're not in it. I will uh, talk to you later. You be sweet. Bye-bye. <laughs> you big sex puppy. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Do you think the sex puppy might be Alvin? The... <laughs> would be quite a twist. So, um, he's dumb. Meanwhile, there's... Um... <laughs> They're gearing up for the holidays at the White House. Yesterday, the White House Christmas tree was delivered via horse and carriage. Uh, this has been a presidential tradition since Joe Biden was a teenager back in 1889. <laughs> the Biden's got an evergreen fur from a farm in Joe's home state of Pennsylvania. They say the tree is 20 years old, or it was. It's dead now. They killed the tree. <laughs> Jill Biden was on hand to receive the tree, which is good because, you know, the last administration made the White House look like the hotel from The Shining. It was just covered... <laughs> Trees covered in either blood or ketchup, I don't know, because we had a first lady who hates Christmas like a Slovenian Krampus or something. <laughs> but it's funny watching Fox News trying to make everything into something negative. So the arrival of the White House Christmas tree happened on the same day as the traditional pardon of the turkeys at the White House, and that gave the gang at Laura Ingram's show another imaginary ax to grind. The turkey pardon had barely happened, Laura. It was barely finished when Jill Biden went out to receive the White House Christmas tree. At this rate, New Year's Eve could be coming tonight at midnight. I mean, can we take a breath between the seasons? <laughs> Elections go on for four weeks, but Thanksgiving and Christmas is over in an afternoon with the Bidens. I've never seen anything like it. Really? <laughs> never seen anything like that. That's interesting because this is what he said about 15 seconds later. In 2019, the Biden, I mean, the Trumps also had the turkey pardon and the tree reveal on the same day. Now, but it's too be fast. Fair. Right, right, right. But, <laughs> but when they did it, it was magical. And maybe the funniest part of Fox complaining about the White House skipping Thanksgiving and going straight to Christmas, earlier that night, they had a big show of lighting the Fox Christmas tree, complete with Santa and top quality Christmas themed merch. This is not what you wear to an ugly sweater party. This is actually very fashionable. Yeah. And you're going to be seeing this a lot this Christmas season. Check this out. All right? It's a dress Guys, for Dana. Don't, don't gasp, it's okay? It's stunning. <laughs> Indeed, it is stunning. And it can be yours for the low, low price of $99.99. It's almost 100 <laughs> The perfect gift for whoever you least want to sit with at Christmas dinner. <laughs> Joe Biden last night celebrated Friendsgiving, uh, dishing out mashed potatoes to military families at a Marine Corps air base in North Carolina. And, oh, look at this kid here getting his potato. There you go. I can't imagine what he's saying to these kids about the... You know, when I was your age, my grandmammy served our potatoes out of a shoe. She uh, <laughs> called them shoe potatoes. Oh, that's so interesting, Mr. President. I'm going to go get some yam. Uh, <laughs> Mashed potatoes, by the way, are the second most popular Thanksgiving side item. According to Campbell's, the soup people released what they call the State of the Sides Report. The number one most popular side item is, do you know what it is? Yeah. Stuffing is number one. And the report also found two-thirds of Americans prefer the side dishes to the main course, which, you hear that, turkeys? We're killing you for fun. There's no reason for it. <laughs> but Thanksgiving isn't about food we don't like that much. Thanksgiving is about gratitude for what we have. So as we get ready to, to head off to spend time with our loved ones, I'd like to take a moment of silence uh, to reflect on what we're grateful for. Actually, Jeff, can we have some reflection music while we silently thank? I am grateful that I have a healthy family and wonderful friends. I'm thankful the show doesn't do background checks. I've done some crazy <laughs> I'm thankful I look so sexy in this child-sized polo shirt. 
I'm thankful for my family, my career, and that my husband looks like a police sketch of every guy who stormed the Capitol on January 6th. <laughs> this show is boring. When does he do the carpool karaoke? <laughs> I'm thankful for horny cops. I'm thankful that my wife has never looked at my internet browser history. Oh, I've seen it. I'm just thankful he touches himself and not me. I'm thankful I was able to buy this Jeffrey Dahmer costume so long after Halloween. I am thankful that Jimmy doesn't know I'm not paying attention to the show. Whenever he looks over here, I just say, yes, Jimmy. Wait a minute, is that true, Guillermo? Yes, Jimmy. Oh. <laughs>